Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get up and running today, giving you the very best performance with a GameCube on Retrobat. So before I start this setup, guys, just make sure you hit notifications and subscribe, of course, if you like this video. Also, be sure to check out my playlist on Retrobat content. I've got a lot on there at this point. So let's get back to this. So first thing I always suggest doing is going into Bat UI to make sure that your games are actually compatible. So I've got the shortcut of Bat UI on my desktop for convenience. If you don't have it, just right click on your shortcut of Retrobat and go into open file location. And from here, you should see batui.exe. And I always recommend this because it saves a lot of hassle later on if your games don't show up, that type of thing. So once this batch UI window is open, just go into system list. And at the top under system, if you just scroll down until you find GameCube, which is just here, it will tell you the extensive list of extensions for GameCube games that Retrobat and the Dolphin emulator or Core Rather accepts for your GameCube games. So all your typical ones are listed here. We got .iso, .wbfs, uh, even .wat is supported. So my file extension is actually kind of like a .nkit, .iso, and it works fine. So let's close this down and let's actually get on with this. So again, in the Retrobat directory, first thing you need to do is go to the ROMs folder. And in ROMs folder, you're going to find GameCube. If you open this up, and then just drag your games or game inside of there once you've extracted them from your disks. So once that's placed, we then go back out, we can close this down and actually open up Retrobat. So as you can see, we've now got Nintendo GameCube up here. If we open this up, we're gonna see our game. I'm gonna just get some cover art for this. So main menu, scraper, and if I go down to scrape now, and game settings and update game lists so let's go to start this game i've just put in and straight away we're going to find the emulator dolphin emu is not installed so it's still now so i'm going to just press yes for this and that's going to download and install a special version of dolphin which is compatible with retrobat so because I'm using a NKIT disk image, if you're using the same one, you're likely going to get this NKIT warning up here. Just check these, it's fine, and press OK. And we should now go straight into the game. And just bear in mind that uh, Dolphin doesn't require BIOS files, so there we go. Very easy going. And something a lot of uh, visual geeks out there is going to appreciate with Dolphin is that, yes, you can go up to 4K. All records are made to Capcom. Here we go. So let's come out of here. And as always, I'm going to show you how to get the best out of this. So if you just go to view options, if we go to advanced system options, so under emulator, we got Libretro Dolphin, which is a RetroArch core. And we've also got the special version of Dolphin, which is compatible with Retrobat, which we just installed. So by far, Dolphin is the best. And again, we got decorations. Then we can have an old school CRTV look as a bezel or even a default unglazed GameCube bezel. Uh, if you're going to use these, then I suggest you go to 4x3. If you use a bezel and select 16x9, most of your image is going to be cut away. So 4x3. Internal resolution. Now, this is what I was saying a minute ago that, yes, you can go up to, say, 4K and beyond, as we can see here, 5K. But I'm going to just keep with the times for 1440p for this. Vertical Sync, I always recommend for higher end consoles such as GameCube, Dreamcast, always put V-Sync, which is known as Vertical Sync, to yes. That will reduce any screen tearing. Now, under video, we got lots of different settings there. So normally, if you leave this with auto, it will pre-configure it for you. So for example, my laptop monitor is 1080p and it runs at 60 hertz. So that's fine for me. And if we go down to visual render, and this is where you can really make your games look great. So 
First of all, anisotropic filtering entirely up to your hardware on your computer or laptop. But obviously, the further up you go, potentially you're going to get lag. So just experiment with anisotropic filtering. I'm going to just go for two times. And anti-aliasing, again, if you go up to eight times, it's going to wear on your hardware. So just be aware of that. I'm going to leave mine to two times. And we've also got on the Dolphin options, anti-aliasing mode. So again, if you go to SSAA, it's going to be more impactful on your hardware. So entirely up to you. But it's a case with these video settings. It's a process of elimination. So obviously, the higher up you go, the more drain this is going to be. And we've also got forced textures filtering. So again, this is going to beef up the textures in all the games and make them look a lot better. Custom textures is another tutorial altogether. We can actually get custom HT textures in Dolphin and make the games look modern day games. So that's a really cool feature. So once you've configured the settings and they're good with your laptop or your computer you're using, you're pretty much good to go. So first thing we're going to see here is NKIT again. So like I said just now, if you are using NKIT.ISO extensions, you're going to get this, but it's fine. So if you do get this, just check these and just press OK. And here we go. So as you can see, we now got the Nintendo GameCube bezels on the sides. So if we just exit out of here, if we go back to Retrobat, Shortcut, Open File Location, and under Emulators, if you scroll down to Dolphin MU, you're going to find the emulator is downloaded into this folder, what you just downloaded and installed through Retrobat. And you can tweak the graphic settings in here and you do what you want with it pretty much. But these are going to be independent of the settings you're going to put into Retrobat. So it's just another option you can use to play your retro GameCube games. So that's it for my GameCube Retrobat setup guide. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you like what you see, just subscribe and always remember to hit notification. It really helps my channel out a lot. Also, check me out on different social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. I've also got a Patreon, and I've also got a Buy Me A Coffee. So if there's any extra help you need, which I've not covered, just drop me a message, and we'll sort that out for you. But until next time, stay retro.